What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Today is a video we have been talking a lot about lately. When it comes to Record Buster, even when it comes to the new Family Rush, it's a question I get a lot in the comment section, and I've covered it before, but I don't think I've ever made a dedicated video to this. Let's talk about the various ailment anklets, okay? Now, First things first, what are the ailment anklets? Well, if we go in here to the blacksmith and we go into crafting, we go to armors, you'll see here the glorious anklet. Glorious anklet, basically when you craft it, you can get one, only one, of the following uh, ailment resistances. 100% poison, 100% stun, 100% sleep, seal, taunt, charm, and slow. You can, any unit that this is tied to is 100% not going to be affected by any one of those ailments the downside is it can only target one at a time i would really love for them to be able to, to update this make it like extra super rare that they get like up to three kind of like you can get if we go in here to our uh, weapon and we go to details it says it can have attributes up to three of the following so you get strength 30 strength 10 agility 30 dex etc etc i would really and i know it sounds broken but considering seventh zone periodically shows up with double ailment it's really rare but it's they could make it possibly common and still easily defeatable free to play if they made the glorious anklets capable of but i mean the only thing is that's gonna like break war game is although to be fair it would nullify a lot of the ailment teams and it does make record buster quite necessary why do i say it makes record buster quite necessary well if we go in here Oops, uh, and I got a special. You require 30 Buster Medals to actually create only one anklet. And believe me when I say, you are going to need a minimum, a minimum of four of these. I do kind of recommend creating four, probably six actually, of each ailment personally. Uh, though if I'm honest, you're going to use more of these revolving amulets. You're going to use two of each of these all the time. Those require Buster Metal and Buster Badges, and they kind of are very similar in this regard. Uh, these are the Revolving Amulets, are the ones that actually cause units to leave after turn 1 and turn 2. You, if we ever talk about SAC units, Revolving Amulets is the one that does that. Well, we can actually include that here in this video, technically. So, how do you get Buster Medals, Buster Badges, or in the case of Glorious Anglers, just Buster Medals? Well, very simple. What you're going to do is go over here to the arena, go into Record Buster... Record Buster is unfortunately off at the moment, but it'll be back next week, most likely. Generally speaking, they cycle out War Game, then Record Buster, then War Game, then Record Buster. Since War Game is currently in a pre-round for FWG, I would think, Familia War Game, I would think that next week will be Record Buster, and the week after that will be Familia War Game. Generally speaking, it makes the most sense. But let's talk about what you need to do here. So... If we go into rewards, and you go into rank rewards, actually, I'm sorry, score rewards. <laughs> rank rewards are where you get your higher score rewards, give you buster medals. You get 5 for five for uh, 50,000 damage, 100,000 damage, you get 7, that's 12, 9, that's 23 at one, uh, 150k, and so on and so forth. So buster medals all the way through 300,000. So, all you gotta do is produce 300,000 damage. And I got news for you. If you're not producing damage in the millions, you're doing Record Buster wrong. Period. Even with base level 60 units, you should have absolutely no problem acquiring all of these. It should be really simple. And if we do the math, let's say that's 23. Uh, yeah. 5 and 7 is 12. And 9 is, sorry, not 23, 21. Math is hard. Uh, then 32... So yeah, I believe that's actually 50, no, that's 45, isn't it? 5, 7 is 12, 9 is 21, 11 would be 32, yeah, that's 45. Anyway, irrelevant, you'll be getting 45 Buster Medals, I believe you need, like I said, 30 uh, per, war or per Record Buster. So you gotta get through a few Record Busters, unfortunately. That is the downside, but hopefully you've been running Record Buster, so you do get those. Now, the alternative is you can actually go in here, and there's a few. Let's go ahead and go into the album, go to assists, and go to filters, and fill this down by three stars. 
there's a few units that do full ailment resistance to all your units. Uh, Anya is one of them. She does 75% seal resistance. When you max limit break her, she comes 100% seal resistance. So you, for the time being, you could definitely use a three-star unit. That isn't going to get you top rewards, but it is going to help. Um, you know, that is an option. There's several different units in here. I forget which are which. She's endurance. Uh, magic. I don't remember which one or which, if I'm entirely honest. I haven't used these in so long. Penetration rate. I thought Loki was one of them. No, apparently not. Anyway, I digress. It's not really that terribly important. I think he's one. Yeah, Dionysus' Charm Resistance. So you could use your three stars to actually... Well, in fact, Charm, I think, is generally always unguardable when it's in uh, Record Buster. But neither here nor there. You could use one of these for the time being. Get through it. When you're through with like three uh, Record Busters, you should be able to produce enough here that you can get enough of those. I know that sucks. It's like five to six weeks worth of wait, but it is worth the wait. So what happens when you craft one of these things? Now that we know how to get it, let's talk about how to craft it. So not there. We're going to go to the blacksmith. We're going to go to crafting. We're going to go to armor and go to our glorious anklet. Okay. And all you do is you hit craft. Now notice I've got 2,100 of these beasts and I've got a ton of these. I have 38 in total in stock. That's just a point in the time in the game where you're just gonna you're gonna have stock of all these. So I'll go ahead and craft one. It's gonna cost a hundred thousand valus, so you do need some valus too. Uh, okay. Now if that were to go a rainbow, that would tell me that my I would have top defense stats, and this is a charm resist uh, anklet, so it's not gonna be that terribly useful. So I've got two options here. I can always just go craft another one to get whatever I want out of it. This is very uh, Valus expensive, but let's see what happens here. So, Defense 91. But that is Poison Resist. So, Poison Resist would actually help out in War Game. But, notice the stats in that one were really low. How do we fix that? Well, if you go here to Rehammer, we go to our armor. We can Rehammer the status. Let's go ahead and do this by our ornaments. And let's see if we can go down here and grab one of our ones we just created. Okay. So this is even lower. This has got 81 defense. That's like one of the worst. Five secret hammers, I can actually rehammer this. And I could get up to 100, uh, 111. I think we had one that was like 105, was it? Let's go up here. This number right here actually tells you what the defenses are. So I believe the one we crafted, maybe it was 101. If you hit special, uh, say special there, details, it takes you to the details and it'll tell you. So that one's sleep resist. Charm. I believe 101 is the one that we actually made last time. And you can see there 111 is our top rank. So we could always rehammer this. I don't really want to at the moment, but we always rehammer this and try to get it up to, to max stats. That's fine. You do want it at max stats if you're going to use it. Attributes, on the other hand, are like the charm resist, the uh, different ailment that you are resisting. So let's go down here to the bottom. Okay. And let's just try to go back up to that charm one. So let's say for the sake of argument, uh, that's sleep, there's charm. So here's our 101 with charm. Let's say we, we rehammered this, got it up to max stats. Well, we decided we didn't want this to be charm. We really need another ailment on this. If I hit rehammer, oops, before I do that, if I, well, okay. So if I hit rehammer, I'll discuss why I'm doing it this way in a moment. I can actually get randomly one of these other ones i'm not gonna do that and i'll tell you why if we go back to special 25 bellows 25 of them you need three to five of these to rehammer just about anything else it is absolutely not worth rehammering an attribute on an anklet just remake it even if you're like early game and you're like, oh man, I really needed sleep, but I got charm. I I still say don't spend your bellows. Bellows are way too precious. Way too precious. Um, basically, if you want to know how bellows work, I'll go grab a weapon here, just off the bottom. All right? Earth Mother Staff. Sure, sounds good. Details. Okay? 
I've got critical 15, agility 30, dex 30. Let's say I wanted to add to that, I can get agility 30, dex 30, critical, a second critical 15, magic 30. I'm going to go ahead and rehammer that and see what I get. All right. Now, hopefully that would go rainbow. It didn't. Rainbow would mean I am uh, have some good attributes. Magic 10, dex 30. All right. I really want to rehammer that again. But notice that's only five bellows. So if I want to go rehammer that, whatever, I can rehammer this five times to get better attributes and have a chance of getting three of the attributes I need. I'm actually at agility 30 and double critical. That's not bad. But not really the point of the video. Five times I could rehammer that Earth Mother staff for the one rehammer, and it's all random on the anklet. It's actually all random on everything. You cannot force an attribute. So if I go in here, and let's just go back to that amulet for one moment, or anklet, I'm sorry, for one moment. I go back up to the 101s. Here we are. So I got sleep there. I got charm here. Charm's rather pointless, in my opinion. I've never used a charm anklet, so if I wanted to rehammer that, great. But once again... 25 bellows not worth i could do this five times five times the other one i could do it 25 times you kind of see the point i have 2.3 million ballast which is a low number of ballast if i'm entirely honest i could go produce way way more anklets and then just junk these it to me i think that's way more worth now that's as deep as i am into the game to be fair, you, this is not something you're going to be able to do right out of the gate. You're going to need to, to wait a little bit longer before you're able to do this. But you need to start running Record Busters. You need to make sure you're collecting these. They do add up fairly quickly because we do get Record Buster all the time. So when I talk about building the ailment an uh, anklets for like Record Buster, like right now we've got Familiar Rest that does stun. This is what I'm talking about. This is a common question I get, and that's why I wanted to dedicate a video just to this topic, because it is asked very, very frequently. So I hope this made that a little bit more simple and made a lot of sense. If you guys still have questions, or if it wasn't clear enough, let me know in the comments section down below. I'm definitely up for whatever helps new players acclimate to the game and become very successful at this. So like I said before, to get those Buster Medals, you just got to run Record Buster when it's live. Unfortunately, it did just end, but it'll be back in less than a week's time, I would suspect. There are generally not gaps to that, but they can happen. Though, given the current lineup, I don't see any reason why it would. So, get ready, guys. Record Buster should be back in just a matter of days. And when it is back, you need to collect those Buster Medals. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section, as I said before. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button because it does help the channel a lot when you just spend, what, half a second to hit that little button? And I hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one.